Welcome to Unit 3 of Rio Shanghai Mathematics Practice Book 3.1. So this is the first book of Year 3, and it's the third unit. So it's called Introduction to Time, and it consists of four parts. Again, you will need the book to be able to go through the material. Uh, the first part is called Years, Months, and Days. So this is the first time this is being introduced within the book. Um, and then it says, look at the question one, look at the 2017 calendar and fill in the missing numbers. So this is for 1A1. There are how many months in a year? Um, so again, your child should be familiar with the months in the year, January, February, March, April, so on and so forth. If they're not, then they need to remember them. Um, and how many of those are 31 days? So you've got a calendar, so you can look according to 31 days. So you look at January and you can see that on uh, Tuesday the 31st will be the, so you have 31, you have 31 days, February has 28, March has 31 days, and so on and so forth, and then you can count how many months have 31 days, how many have 30 days, and February in 2017 has 28 days, there you can see that. Um, write the day for each date, so 1st of January 2017, so the first W, the one, one, 2017, one stands for the first, that's here, and one stands for the first month, of January, and this is 2017, so this will be S here. And this month, the week starts according to this calendar anyway, this has to be S for Sunday, because after Sunday comes Monday, okay? And then Friday, this is Saturday here, and uh, so this would be Sunday. Uh, and so we do one more 10 1 2017. So 10 1 uh, okay, let's do 3 8 3 8 2017. So th that's going to be third, third of the 8th, which is August. So you go to August and then 2017. This is all 2017, so we don't have to worry about that. Third of August, so point three on the August one, which will be a T at the top, and the T is after W, so this will have to be a Thursday. Um, and then moving on to the next question, question two. 2017, what were the dates of the holidays in the table? What days of the week did they fall on? Okay, so dates in the numbers. So New Year's Day, New Year's Day, the first of the first two. Okay, so that will have to be a Saturday. Days, uh, dates in the in numbers, days of the week. So that, okay, date would have been 1 1 2017, and the day of the week would be a Sunday. May Day Bank Holiday. Um, you'll have to double check that, but I think that is a the last uh, Monday of the May month. So in this case, I believe it's 29th of the fifth, 2017, and that would be a Monday. And then the Christmas is on the 25th, and August Bank Holiday. Again, double check that. I'm not sure about that. Whether that's in the um, what Monday that falls under, whether it's the last of the month or not, um, and then the day of the week. And the question three, the abbreviated date of 3-12-2020 can be expressed as 3 of December 2020. Write these abbreviated dates. Okay, so there you go. So it should be fairly straightforward. We'll do the 3C, 30th of May 2009. Um, write these dates the other way around. So the, so if you do 4B, that would be 4-5-1991. So 4.05.1991. Choose the most appropriate answer there. How many days? From 20th of May to the last day of May, so they are, uh, May has 31 days, so there will be uh, 11 days from 20th, including the 20th from 20th, so you need really include the 20th, so that will be 11 days. And how many days in the first quarter of 2018, for quarter of the month will be 3 months, so you can add 31, 28, um, 31, 28, 31. Uh, that's for uh, 2017. Uh, 2018, um, okay, it's not here. You just have to double check in 2018 if that was a leap year or would that be, so February sometimes is 28 days or 29 days. One of the days, it becomes 29 days. Um, looking at the next page, uh, it looks like 2018 was also a, 28th day in 2020 with the, with the leap year. Okay, um, fine. So you should be just able to hear about 3128 plus 31. And the second day, the second day of the second day after 29th of September 2029, 2009, the 29 has 
um, 30 days. So it would have to be uh, September only has 30 days, so not 31. So it would go, have to go to 1st of October. Um, and so on and so forth. Question six true or false odd number months all the odd number months always have 31 days uh not necessarily because you can get a leap year in which case february would also be an odd one where it'd be 29 days so february could sometimes be 29 days sometimes it's 28 days so there are 182 days in the first half of each year um so 365 divided by uh, so you can just look at the calendar and look at that um I'm not sure if this is just for 2017 or not. In November, when 17 days have passed, there are 13 days left. So November has how many days? 30 days. So that sounds about right. And so on and so forth. B, which days of Christmas Day make calendar for the year? Uh, occur, this, this occurs New Year's Day, May Day, Spring Holiday, August Bank Holiday. And you can make a calendar according to that. And you might need to use Google to help you with that. In terms of the dates and when they fall on, and then moving on to the second part, which is standard years and leap years. So again, leap year is just referring to an extra day in February. Um, so you have an extra day there. Um, so what do you learn? So from standard years are 2007 to 2008, 20. So you just write down the standard years and leap years. Otherwise, the 29. So you can see 29 is 2012, 2016, 2020. What do you find? So they go up in fours. Every four years it happens. Uh, two fill in missing numbers. Uh, the next year, 2011, is standard year. The next leap year is how many years later? So use the table. So 2011 has 28 days. And the next one will be 2012. So one year later. And the previous one would have been three years, uh, two years before that, 2008. 1892 was a leap year. So if the, you know that's a leap year, then you just add four to that. And the leap years from 1990 to 2010. Where what? So you can just work backwards from that from 2008 uh, to 2008. It was a leap year. That means 2004 would have been a leap year and so on and so forth. Which of these is a leap year? Uh, again, just need to work your way uh, backwards to be able to do that. So some of them have been done within there. So we'll just go backwards. So for example, we know 2008 is a leap year. So that means 2000 would be a leap year. You're going back in, uh, in, in, in fours. Um, 1900 would be a leap year as well because going back uh, 100 years before before that and that would be in the four times table as in four times 20 is 1900 and so on and so forth okay so, so 1994 won't be because it would have been 1998 um, or 1960 so you just need to work out from the four times table 1960 would be because 40 years behind 2000 and that would have been in the four times table as such and uh, 2003 clearly won't be because it's not even in it's not even even number uh, and level B, there are how many days in the first quarter of a leap year? So again, you've got your previous one. You can use that and just add one to that because leap year would have an extra one day in February. Um, his birthday was 29th. He had how many birthdays? I met his birthdays. Okay. So how many, he has had how many birthdays? Meaning because Charlie was born in the 29th of February, which is a leap year. He misses every four years. He's missing it. Okay. Uh, he has, has he's had how many birthdays? So if he's 11 years, and so he uh, meet his birthday. So if you meet his birthday, then he probably would have had uh, two, wouldn't he? Because he hasn't reached the 12th one yet. Um, okay. Um, ta -ta -ta. I'm moving on to make a calendar, which is the third one. Um, so that's something you can just again use use your um, imagination and use Google if you want to help yourself to make a timetable, but do look back to the previous ones uh, question the part section one to help you with the making calendar um, and then you can answer the questions based upon that I mean these are optional ones when I don't go into detail so it's up to you but it just to get you familiarized with it and the last part is four which is practice exercise two um, so here we just have to go through this page the page 42 true or false put a tick or for true and across for false in the brackets in one year six months have 31 days and others have others have six months have 30 days so we know that's not correct because february has either 28 or 29 days dylan cousin was born on 29th of february 1994 so you need to see whether that is a leap year from memory i don't think it is because 2000 would have been a leap year and therefore 1990 1990 
six would be a leap year, but not 1994. Uh, in the, if the number of year is a multiple of four, the year is a leap year. Um, so it's definitely a multiple of four, and it seems to be uh, correct. If I'm correct, 2000. Uh, let me think about this. Two fifteen. Yeah, seems to be right actually. The second half, the standard year and a leap year have the same second have the same number of days. Well, probably yes, because the second half does not have a leap year in this. Only in February. Question two: Fill in the missing numbers. There were how many days in February 2020? 2010 this year there were uh, this year there were how many days in february so again using previous information to be worked out that four years and seven months are equals how many months so four times 12 plus seven and level b jacob stayed at his grandmother's house for a period of 62 days this was exactly two months so these two months were which ones okay which months can they be again you need to be familiar with with your months and the months where they are uh, um, which are 30 or 30 or 30 or 31 days. Now, if you need to know this by memory, there is a trick that one can do is to put out your, so if you put out your hands um, out and make both hands into knuckles, so if you make your hands into knuckles, then you will see the following shape. Let's see if I can draw it. So if you put your hands and just concentrate on the knuckles, um, so what you'd get a hand out in front of you, you'll see this is your small finger and your uh, left hand. This is your left hand and this is your right hand. Okay, and then obviously you have a knuckle and then the inside bits goes in and then you got another knuckle. Then it goes in again and you have one, two, three, four knuckles. Okay, and then the same thing happens on this side as well. You got four knuckles. Four knuckles there. And then from there you can count. This is your January. So this, all your knuckles are 31 days. So January, February isn't. So Feb, January, March. Uh, so January, February, January, 31 days. February doesn't because on the underside of your knuckle, March has 31 days. April doesn't, May has 31 days, June doesn't, July has 31 days, and then right next to July is August. That's the advantage of doing a knuckle. So July and August have 31 days, and then August, September doesn't, October does, November doesn't, November doesn't, and then December, this last one here, is again 31 days. As from that, you can see July and August are going to have 31 days, and then after December, which is 31, you go back to January, so this is also 31 days, so that's going to be the answer for that. Mia stayed at her grandmother's house for two months. She stayed for at least how many days? Uh, at least how many days? So this is going to include the least amount of days. will have to be February. February is the shortest amount, so you can think of January to February or, fe or February to March. Both will be the same, and it'll be 28 plus uh, 31, because that will be, that will be less than 30 plus 31. Um, so that will be the least amount of days. And with that, we end this. And please do like and subscribe. And please leave your comments below. That would be much appreciated.